Gathering cattle off the mountain is an important job. Winter is right around the corner, and if the cattle don't make it home before the snow falls, their chances of surviving aren't great. We start gathering in the early fall. At first, finding the cattle is easy, and we get the majority of the herd home fast. After gathering the main herd, we're left with the cows who don't want to go home. And these cows are good at hiding and running. And sometimes, these cows are just plain mean. So getting these cows home can get, uh, well, let's say interesting. It's a luau on the mountain today. <laughs> Where are you going? And that's what this video is about. I want to show you our battle, getting the last cows off the mountain late last fall. Let's start the story in early October. The weather is warm, all the leaves are bright neon colors, and it's a great day to be on the mountain. We still have a lot of cattle to gather, and they're getting harder and harder to find. So today, we'll have to step off the main trail and gather out in the boonies. All right, we trotted down this four-wheeler trail a couple miles. We're kind of looking in this area right here for cows. If we find them, we're gonna herd them back down this road up to everybody else. There's a pretty good spring right here, so there's usually some cows hanging around. I can hear the dogs barking over here, so we're gonna go check it out. I think somebody's on them. I didn't see anything up higher, so hopefully they got a couple down here. You can hear those dogs right in the bottom of the ravine here. Oh, there he is. What's up? Hey. I can hear some dogs barking down here. Just don't bomb off of this. Oh, really? We started following the cattle through steep, nasty country. And if we thought this was hard, our problems were about to get a lot worse. So I split off from everybody else. I'm looking for this cow who dove down in this ravine. And it looks like there's a big storm coming our way. A lot of lightning and thunder up there. You can see those storm clouds rolling in. Sheesh. As the storm clouds approached, we successfully gathered all the cows in the area except for one, and she decided to give us a hard time. She was slowing us down, and we didn't want to lose all the other cows we gathered, so we came up with a solution. Let's just take her to this tree right here, Brett. And she's mine to do some half hitches around it so she doesn't choke out. Because we're here all in grave danger. So, we got a half hitch in that knot right there so it won't choke her out. Maybe leave her there overnight and then she'll uh, be broke to lead in the morning. It's a luau on the mountain today. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? By the time we caught up to the rest of the herd, it started pouring on us. But it didn't last long. We spent the rest of the afternoon herding the cattle home. It was about a nine mile walk to the bottom of the canyon. I'll show you the rest of the day on my second channel, but for this video, I have more important things to show you. Tomorrow, we need to go back and get the cow we tied up to the tree. There's our cow down there tied up. Usually after tying a cow up overnight, they're broke to lead the next day. But this wasn't your typical bovine. It didn't take her long to figure out that she could get away from us in the deep mud.
After fighting this cow for a few minutes, we finally pulled her out of the mud and got her back to the trailer. But I think she got the best of us because there was something we didn't figure out until later that night. So the plot thickens, oh my gosh. Yesterday we were down there, we had the cow roped and my dad had his iPhone, his brand new iPhone he just barely got in his pocket. And I think what happened is when we roped that cow, the rope brushed his phone out of his front pocket. It was in his front pocket in his pants. So his phone is missing somewhere down by that mud hole. And last night we realized that, we turned on find my iPhone. There's a little service up here, but not a lot. So we didn't really expect to get a signal from the phone. And uh, after a couple hours, we got a little signal from the phone and it showed us the general location it was in. So today I bombed up on the four wheeler and I roughly know where it's gonna be. So we're gonna go down there and I'm gonna look for it. Hopefully it's not in that mud hole cause that would suck. If it's in the mud hole, there's no way I'm finding it. A few minutes later. I kind of have some bad news. The phone is popping up right here. And we're right next to this mud hole. <laughs> yeah, look how nasty this pond is. Ugh. The map is only accurate to a couple hundred feet. So it could be anywhere in this little area right here, but it's somewhere. <laughs> oh, okay, so. I found this glove laying right here and then a couple feet away from the glove boom baby let's go found her let's go let's go baby late October we had a big snowstorm and there were still a few cows on the mountain but luckily the snow didn't stick we're gonna go up this canyon find some cows. We decided to have one last big gather to get the rest of the cows home. All right, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm... <laughs> I saw your shadow. <laughs> I just recorded. Throw your hat underneath it. <laughs> All right, neither one of the rays will go, so I guess. <laughs> So far this month, it snowed more than it snowed all last winter. A lot of it's melted off, but the problem was when it snowed, it pushed all the cows downhill. They're just spread out everywhere right now, and we're only able to gather just a couple at a time. And look what we got right now, about three of them. We're still missing like 20 or something cows. At the end of the day, we got all the cows home, except five. If it snowed again, we might not be able to get back on the mountain. So time was running out. If we didn't find the last five cows soon, they might be on their own. A few weeks later, we had a lead on the five cows. A couple hunters found them and they relayed all the information to us. So we had a pretty good idea of where they might be. Oh yeah, we got old eye candy, our registered Texas Longhorn. She's still missing. So, we gotta go find her. Some of the roads, they're getting too slick to drive up, so we're gonna have to ride up the canyon today. We came up here last week looking for them, and we couldn't find them. All right, we've been riding for an hour or two now. We don't see anything. It's pretty dang cold up here on top of the mountain. It's a little windy. It's been snowing a little bit on us. We made it to this pond. We're kind of walking around the pond, seeing if there's any fresh tracks. Doesn't look like I see anything right now, but. It's pretty windy up here. Hopefully you can hear me. We just glassed those cows up across the canyon over on that opposite ridge over there. We are fairly sure those cows are going to be up here somewhere. So we're going to cross over, see if we can find them.
when we last seen them, I think they were just up right here. So let's walk around, get around them, and get them going in the right direction. So we got over to the ridge they're hanging out on, and we can't find them. What we thought was going to be an easy job suddenly seemed impossible. The cows disappeared from a ridge that had almost no hiding spots. It was pretty dang confusing. Okay, Matt's gonna go check those trees. We got somebody riding over there to the left of me. I'm gonna ride straight up through the middle. We'll see what we can find. Gosh dang, we still can't find them. I'm gonna go back down where we were looking before and double check. Those other guys are heading up the ridge to look a little higher up. That great big flat you can see, they were just above it in this little flat below me. I'm just gonna come back and double check, make sure I didn't overlook anything. See if I can't find some more tracks and follow them a little better. We looked for an hour or two with no luck, and by now, we were all disappointed. I think, I think we found their tracks. They might have bailed off this trail. We're gonna investigate. But we've pretty much given up. Everybody's starting to walk back to the truck. There they are. Yahoo! Yahoo! We found them, boys. Let's go. Yahoo! Here's all eye candy, our Texas Longhorn. What a great way to end the year. With the job complete, this would be my last ride on the mountain until next summer. <laughs> Let's go. I suck at uploading on a schedule. So the best way to know when I'm gonna post a video is hit that subscribe button and make sure the bell notification is on.